I'm Tom Edelman with Edelman Etching. And Sarah King with AngelGilding.com has asked me plans on PDF files at AngelGilding.com. So if you want to build one, the plans are there to do it. I'm going to show you what it's all about and the decision. Before we get into silvering the glass, I want to show you the silvering box and we're going to just go around it and I'm going to show you how it works. This is the tail end of the fixture that it's raised with. All right, it's got a stand up underneath it. I'm going to raise it now just to show you what it's all about. All right, there's a, a bucket down there. I'll show you where the the water, if you can see it, is draining off into a pan. You want to contain that water. And you can raise it up pretty high. That being the bottom side of it. All right, this, this being the front side, the glass is resting against these pegs right here. On the inside here, there's all these pegs with felt. Also some felt down here at the front. In case it does slip off, it lands on them, which doesn't normally happen. The spout here dumps it into a tub because when you get through, you have to treat this so it can be disposed properly. Over here, is actually just a rack to handle the silvering gun, the tin gun, the water gun, and the air gun. Things you're gonna need, you're gonna need your instructions. You need to keep those handy. You're gonna need four of the measures. You're gonna need your tin for silver, the silver activator, the silver solution, and the silver reducer. You're gonna need a measuring cup that measures in milliliters, preferably one that goes over a liter. You're gonna need two containers that go over a quart and you're gonna to need distilled water. We have three bottles that need to be mixed. The first one being the tin for silver. That's this one right here. It has to be mixed with distilled water for that. This one, the, let the, the right bottle is gonna be the silver solution and the silver activator. They go together in here with distilled water. All right, the third one is the silver reducer for this one right here. When these two are mixed, nothing happens. When this, when this reducer is mixed with it, then you start the silvering process. Now what's gonna happen is these two with distilled water are in this bottle this is with distilled water in this bottle. And it's, what it's gonna do is these two guns together are gonna mix their patterns about that far in front of the gun. Except the 10. First thing we're gonna do is mix out 480 milliliters of distilled water. of the tin for silver. It's easier to do if it's closer to eye level than if you're trying to do it down on the, on the table. Then you pour it in the bottle. And 
and you agitate. It's got the right bottle solution. The left bottle. We're gonna put 960 milliliters of distilled water and 40 milliliters of the silver reducer. You got the left bottle and the right bottle. Put what you want in the bottle. Now, they need to be pretty equal, no matter what you put in there, because you need to know that your guns are spraying the same. They're emptying the bottles at the same rate. You can do that as you're going along. You, you first make a test with just, just plain distilled water, and then you do this. But you wanna make sure the gun's spraying right before you ever start filling them up with, with chemical. Left one on the left side, right one on the right side. Now that's as you're standing behind it. Okay. I'm gonna hang these up on the silvering box.